all right, folks. The, the WC misses nothing. Okay, I miss nothing. I get a text at approximately 12:45 in the a.m. All right. I look over at that text message because I get tons of text messages while I'm sleeping. And it says, the Yukon women lose. So, I looked at the date and I looked at the time and I'm like, okay, you know, people starting early with the, you know, with the April Fool's jokes, right? I wake up at 3 a.m. I turn on Sports Center. It's not an April Fool's joke. It's World Championship breaking news. The WC. Let me let me break this down to you guys. All right, how hard it is to do anything 111 times. All right, because that's how many times the Utah the, the Yukon women won during this streak, this epic streak of theirs. Um, you can't go on dates 111 times in a row. You can't eat cheeseburgers 111 times in a row you can't um do jumping jacks well maybe you can do jumping jacks 111 times in a row um you can't drive in circles 111 times in a row at least without tra you know at least without crashing and this is what this is what happened to the Yukon women they crashed and eventually it was going to happen um whether people like it or not, Gino is one of the best head coaches, male or female, um, in sports right now because he gets the best out of his girls. And some people will debate with me. They'll say, okay, well, when you all, we have all the premier athletes you're supposed to win. So when people say, so, so when people say, okay, Phil Jackson, they say, they also say, okay, well, Phil had Kobe, Shaq, Jordan, Pippen. You're like, if you give me Kobe, Shaq, Jordan, and Pippen, I win championships too. Some people say that about Steve Kerr, um, who played on one of those Jordan teams where it's just like he just kind of inherited, you know, uh, a team that was that was not necessarily built for him, and he won a championship. Some people say that about John Gruden with the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And the reason why I'm going that deep into it, that many layers into it, is to prove that this is not a joke and that you know superstars and superstar you know athletes premier athletes when they become when they come together magical things do happen and that's not to do, that's not to discredit a coach that's just to say that you know what's a coach with a what's, what's a coach with no athletes a guy with a clipboard or a girl with a clipboard that's basically what that is you can have one of the worst coaches in the league all right, become one of the best coaches in the league just by, you know, um, having talent. And that's one of the things that I admire about Gino is that he has an eye for talent and he knows how to get the best out of that talent. And even though I, all those coaches that I mentioned, you know, from Phil to Steve Kerr to John Gruden, even though those guys had talent all right, on their roster, they still had to coach them up. They still had to get the best out of them. And that's something that Gino does every single year. So for UConn, this is a this is an epic loss. I mean, 111 times you win and then get to the Final Four and everybody think that this is just a cakewalk. You know, like I said, I thought it was an April Fool's joke. All right. Then I'll put down make sure I put that in the title. That I thought that this was an April Fool's joke that they lost. But Apparently it's true. The streak is over, folks. Let me know what what, what you guys could do eleven a uh, one hundred and eleven times consecutively. Um, like I said, you can't you can't do this in two K. Uh, you can't do this in Dynasty mode or two K or Fantasy or what is it called? Whatever two K. You can't do this on two K. You can't do anything hundred and eleven times consecutively on two K, <laughs> including win. So let me know. How you guys feel down below? Is this the ultimate April Fool's joke? Or, or nah? <laughs> I mean, it's true. I mean, it's true. It's the WC. The music is cutting me off. It's, it's late at night, early in the morning. And until next time, folks, peace out.